The Oxford Dictionary defines art as the use of imagination to express ideas or feelings. Since she was a kid, Debbie Kibbe has been doing a lot of expressing with her imagination in a number of ways. Peace is its own reward. I go down to my studio to escape. Um, I'm an only child, so I am used to spending a lot of time by myself, and I need that time. Debbie is currently the featured artist in the City Hall Gallery. No one medium can define her work. Take this painted paper torn collage, for example. You can use different colors, you can use stamps, you can use stencils to get um, different textures in the paper. And then you take the paper and you tear it into tiny little pieces and glue it onto there. This is probably my favorite art form right now. This piece is called If Walls Could Talk. It's made up of some six or seven different items, all coming together in a kind of creepy crafted collection. I took this picture of this old asylum and this family, and I printed it onto that fabric. I just ran it through my printer. And then the fabric that's on the top, the black, that's an 1890 morning fabric. Buttons are from 1890, and it's kind of, if walls could talk, there's this, you know, other little person over here. Where'd she come from? <laughs> Debbie says her favorite piece is utterly cute. I just think his face is really cute. I could sit there all day and just watch their little antics. The collection has painted quilts, including this one, featuring succulents and tea bags. You can see some of the tea bags actually here. I also use tea bag paper. Um, you can run it through a printer and print things on it and then color them, but because of the texture of it, it doesn't disintegrate. So um, you can add color and paint it and you can quilt over the top of it. So whether it's a parrot or a hummingbird drinking from a flower or even a turtle, Debbie will continue to express her ideas and feelings in her own way. Someone had told me once it's art, it doesn't have to match the couch. And that really changed my whole idea because at first I was trying to make everything match the couch or go in this room or go. Now I just do what I want. For Papillion Now, I'm Michael Severe.